CBS News, New York Times, Quinnipiac, uh, which has some numbers that must please you, showing the president up by six points in Ohio, up by six points in Florida, 11 points in Pennsylvania. Is this along the lines of what you've been seeing in your internal polling? Well, it is. But, Nancy, uh, uh, one thing that I've learned in a long, uh, long career in this business is not, not to get too exhilarated about encouraging numbers, not to get too despairing about uh, discouraging numbers, but to keep working. And this is going to be a close election. It will be a close election in those states. It will be a close election nationally. And, uh, you know, I think that those polls reflect the product of the president's work and the campaign's work. Uh, but we have more work to do. Does it mean that negative ads work? Because obviously you have uh, advertised very he heavily in some of these states, particularly attacking Mr. Romney on his record at Bain Capital. Well, it could mean that negative ads don't work because they've run more negative ads against the president than we've run uh, in this campaign. They've uh, attacked the president relentlessly for months and months and months, not just the Romney campaign, but super PACs at a level that we've never seen before. And those arguments seem to be failing. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I believe that uh, uh, people are looking at this and they're saying, who has in his focus uh, my concerns, uh, an economy that's going to work for me, who's going to help rebuild the middle class, which is really the big issue in this election, uh, and what is the experience that they bring, the lens through which they look at this. And as they focus in on these two candidates, I think that's redounding to the president's benefit.